Supporting Sustainable Citizenship, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 315. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 315, April 7, 2019 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Today, what I want to talk about is supporting sustainable citizenship. And everything you see happening in the background of the video here is our components for that. We believe that it's possible to create self-sustainable models that cover food, energy, housing, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship that will provide a way of living that is better than the way that most people are living right now. And because these communities, villages, cities, and components because it could just be individual components that people are integrating into their lives. Because all of these are built for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet, we see that as a step towards supporting, sustain, we see that as supporting sustainable citizenship. And in its grandest expression, which is one community, the prototype designed to create more versions of sustainable communities that can integrate into rural environments, of course, as well as urban environments, including anybody that wants to live this way, we see that as building a community, a global community of sustainable citizens. People living and creating for the highest good of themselves, for the highest good of their families, and for the highest good of everybody else as well. And so our way of building that foundation is by creating the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary to construct everything that you see happening in the background of this video and so much more than just that. Complete living environments and by making those environments easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating them as attractive enough so that using our open source and free shared foundations, people can replicate them anywhere in the world and not just replicate them, but modify them, adapt them, improve them, and create even better versions of what it is that we're doing. Stimulating the global sustainability economy and all sustainable organizations that we can find and support doing the right thing for the right reasons because we know that a sustainable world is possible. The technology exists, the know-how exists, and the will exists. And we are part of that will. And we invite you to be part of that will as well. Part of the people doing the right things for the right things and supporting sustainable citizenship by open sourcing and free sharing all the tools and resources and foundations necessary for people to be and live as sustainable citizens and inviting everybody to participate and doing it in such a way that is better than the way than, than the way that most people are living right now so that people will want to live this way. So that people will selfishly want to support humanitarianism and philanthropy. So people will want to selfishly support creating a world that works for everybody because that includes them and is a better way to, of living than the way that they're living right now. And so this, this is what we're doing. This is, the, this is the path that we see as creating a sustainable world that will benefit all of us, a world that works for everybody, simultaneously addressing the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come with a model that's open source, free shared, and flexible enough to do that that eats at the very foundations of war and poverty and hunger and homelessness and lack of energy infrastructure that a third of the planet still doesn't have. That's crazy. That addresses the foundations of education and social injustice and inequality. We can do this. We have the ability to do this. We have the ability to be conscious and conscientious stewards, creating a world that's better for us and better for everyone else as well. And we don't have to do it in a way that sacrifices anything. You know, we can do it in a way that provides a better living and a better lifestyle, not a better living, but a better way of living and lifestyle for people and their families in the way they're living right now. And this is what we think can create 
that sustainable planet for everybody. And if you run the numbers on this, one community being built is a group of 50 people growing to hundreds and thousands, but just starting out with 50 and inspiring two more communities the next year to start. And hopefully those communities will be part of our highest good network and contribute their open source and free shared data as well. Building the global suite of open source tools and resources and adding to it their variations, and adaptations, their data statistics, their labor statistics, their cost analysis statistics, all of those things, all the data and statistics that we need to keep evolving this and improving and making it more efficient, easier and more affordable. If they want to join that high school network, that would be great. But even if they don't, two more communities of 50 people or even 20 people starting, and if those two stimulate four more, and if those four stimulate eight more, and then 16 and 32 the year after that, each year doubling, you could have a sustainable world in 30 years. Now, is it realistic that that number will double? Depends on how well we demonstrate is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to become self-replicating. But even if it doesn't, what percentage of the human population do you think it needs to positively impact the lives of everybody? There are lots of individuals that have positively impacted the lives of everybody. Imagine a community of 50 people dedicated to creating for the highest good of all life on this planet and open sourcing and free sharing everything that they come up with and create for that purpose. This is what one community is doing. This is what we're creating. And we're an all volunteer unpaid group of people doing that. We've had over 300 volunteers Help us in the last nine years to get to where we are right now. And we've got hundreds that will help us to get beyond that. And as we launch one community, we invite the world to come and participate. People will be able to live in these structures. They'll be able to see the education program. As we open source and free share everything that we're doing, we keep taking it to the next level, confirming all of our data and information and building these structures and, and confirming the tools and the tutorials and resources and everything that we're creating. It will get easier, more efficient, more affordable, and then demonstrating that attractive lifestyle so that people want it is really what it becomes about. And so how great is that? Our goal is to live the most awesome lifestyle as possible, invite other people to participate, and give them what they need to duplicate it for themselves. That's what we're all about. And we think that's awesome. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of supporting sustainable citizenship through open source tools and resources, everything that you've seen. Take a look, one week of our progress and accomplishments. Here it is. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished developing the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, primers, stains, and sealers page. This included creating all the sections shown here, final proofreading and edits, sharing it through all our social media networks, and adding it to our open source annual social media strategy. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 42nd week helping with EarthBank Village Render Editions. This week, he finished work on this view of an Earthbag Village six-dome cluster by fixing final render errors and replacing all the bushes. Shoddy Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 45th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was drawing parts to match all the pre-made components needing to be purchased and starting to outline the pages that will describe them in all the different languages. You can see some of this work in progress here. Hamant Kodaru, structural engineer, completed his 32nd week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week, he wrote version 1 of the tutorial for the nail and rebar selection and spacing tool he developed. You can see some of this work in progress here. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her 12th week as a researcher with our team. This week, she finished final formatting and organization for the faucet section of the upcoming Most Sustainable Faucet Options page and researched the Altered Water Saving Nozzle Edition. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of 3D modeling the new duplicate city center interior design details for the library. This week, we researched fire code requirements for the hallways, changed the color of the bean bags and moved them to the corners, and set up the table lights, pendant lights, and some of the recessed ceiling lights. 
The core team also continued adding content to the City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, we finished the first half of the maximizing lead points in the City Center point by point section by finishing the research and creating all the content shown here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, continued helping with the duplicate City Center costs. This week, she researched overhead lighting options and started updating the paint, primer, and sealer costs. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrianne Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, completed their 15th week helping with the Duplicals City Center interior design details. This week's focus was more product research, 3D modeling, and adding details to the Social Dome storyboards you see here. James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his 17th week researching sustainable materials. This week's focus was researching and writing up the entire resources component shown here for the most sustainable adhesives page. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her eighth week helping with the duplicate city center structural details. This week's focus was fixing an issue with floor heights and initial importing to eTabs so we can start running engineering calculations. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan. We continued researching and revising our goat care and fencing details and finished adding narratives to the Google Doc regarding equipment and accessories for pens and feeding. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. The core team also continued research and 3D design of the chicken coops needed for 100 chicks. This week we placed the roof, designed the nesting boxes, and added the chicken ramp and the missing outside walls. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his 13th week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 26th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was creating the campaigns for mechanical engineer, video designer, software engineer, general contractor, and surveyor help. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of supporting sustainable citizenship through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainable living, food, energy, housing, education, for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as fulfilled living practices and true earth stewardship. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links, explanations for every single one of those categories and breakout pages for all the open source and free shared content we've created, visit our website, visit our written blog, and you can see summaries of all these updates and all the past ones as well. Uh, there's so much information. If you'd like to help, visit our helping page. Join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on the big ones, of course, 
Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. We're also on Tumblr, Reddit, uh, and about 15 other social media networks. So wherever you're at, we're probably there too. Join us, visit us there, help us share information there. If you'd like an easy way to help out, the easiest way is, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, help share our information on social media, share any page that you think would be valuable to other people. All that stuff is great. Uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to one community updates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or again, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here or uh, through visit us through Facebook or any of our social media networks there. There's lots of different ways to connect with us. Do the one that works best for you. And if you're supporting us, if you support us through donations, as I said, we're a 100% volunteer organization, so I'm not paid, neither is anybody else on our team. So thank you for that. If you've written us emails or commented on our videos or commented on any of our social media posts or just sent us energetic love, all of it makes a difference. So thanks. You're supporting sustainable citizenship too in whatever way, even if it's just watching this video to the end. So with that said, thanks for your support. Thanks for your love. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.